guys, Duckling Pal here, back with another Destiny video for you guys. Now today is actually Halloween, you know, so happy Halloween. That time of year where kids and their parents dress up as spooky little things and go around door to door knocking on it saying trick or treat and getting free sweets from it. You know, people would dress up as things like werewolves and vampires and zombies and ghosts and witches and slutty cats and bloody blood-sucking amphibious creatures, I don't know. You dress up as what you want, it's cool because of that. And you get free sweets from it at the end of the day. So, is there anything wrong with it? Yeah, yeah there can be some assholes who go out on that night, but... Besides from that, I really, really enjoy Halloween. I know what I've just said might counteract that, but I really, really enjoy it. It's just, it's basically built on memories now, like I don't go trick-or-treating anymore, so it's basically the memories which keep me enjoying Halloween. Anyway, that is not the topic of today's discussion. Today, I'm going to be discussing Festival of the Lost, or as more console cleverly said from someone's comment, I just quoted someone who put it in a comment section somewhere, it should be called Festival of the Cost. Now, I'm going to be getting into that right now. So, it has a lot of problems. Mainly, most of the stuff is only obtainable through microtransactions. Most of the new content, I'd say about 95% of the new content, is only obtainable through microtransactions or treasures of the lost. That is cack, okay? That is not good, that is bad, that is very, very annoying. You want me to tell you the new stuff that is only available in these treasures of the lost, do you? Okay, challenge accepted. All the new consumables like Crawl of Creeps, Stroke of Midnight, Whim of Raoul, Sleepless Gaze, Chromatic Jackalite, and Bad Dream. All of the new masks, pretty much. The two Bad Juju ornaments, and the new Sparrow, and the two new Ghost Shells. All of that stuff, so at least 20 plus items, if not maybe 25, 30, with all the masks and stuff counted up, they are only obtainable through paying your money, okay? Now, you know I did that um, Treasures of the Lost opening the other day, and I got shit. I got one thing that I wanted, and it was the ghost shell that I least wanted, so you know, that's pretty cool. I would have loved the ghost ghost shell, because that is cute as fuck. I would have loved the fire wolf mask, because that was the only mask that I actually liked. You know, brilliant, but for spending 15 quid, what did I get? Naff all, did I? I got absolutely cack. Brilliant. Love it. Love spending 15 quid and not getting a single thing that I really, really wanted. There was only pretty much two or three things that I wanted, and I got one that I wanted, but it was the thing that I wanted the least, which is what annoyed me the most. But anyway, the pay to get the new content stuff isn't really the only thing that annoyed me about Festival Over the Cost, okay? There is no other way to get these masks. Now, last year, you could grind your way to get the new masks. Like, you could grind and you would get given the new masks. And then, I believe you could, um, like, keep them or trade them in, like, do something to keep them. I can't fully remember that well. But this year, no. No, if you want a new mask, you either have to do the shitty quest where you get, what, two or three, maybe four new masks? And they're all shit. It's a bloody tiger mask. The tower mask, and no, not the tower, the um, traveler mask, and the cryptarch mask. Yeah, they're pretty shit masks. Yeah, I want that. Brilliant. Thank you, game. Love that to bits. I really don't. I hate it. I don't know why it is a thing that you can only get the shit mask from actually playing the game, yet you can get the one good mask from spending hundreds of billions of dollars on the shitting. Treasures of the Lost! It's so, so bad. Also, this is just a slight little thing for me that um, would have made me very, very happy. Is if you could have obtained or re-obtained your old masks from year two's Festival of the Lost, or the first annual Festival of the Lost. Because I had the blue skull mask. Oh my god. Oh my god, was that a good mask. I love that mask. It was absolutely brilliant, but I didn't keep it. I can't remember if I dismantled it or if it got taken away due to timeout. I can't fully remember, but if I did dismantle it, it's because I'm not a hoarder and this game is fundamentally a hoarder's game. 
like people could say oh no I was just collecting it once you can't collect the new items that you need to complete that collection it is not a collection it is a hoard because you aren't collecting anything because you can't collect anything meaning that you're hoarding onto it making it a hoard making you a hoarder I am not a hoarder I like my things and my vault to be nice and clean and not full but some people you know they just collect things and more console I know he still had that blue skull mask and seeing him have that whilst I know I can't ever get mine back makes me want to wince and just punch a frog in the face or something like that because I love that mask it was such a good looking mask I loved it if you go back to like a video from last year I was wearing it on no what's his name on Twilight Gap and I, I really really like that mask anyway also there is a real lack of new content a real real lack there are two quests both of them are shit neither of them get you anything good i know it gets you like an emblem and it gets your masks along the way and sterling tre well no not sterling treasures I keep on wanting to say sterling treasures and treasures of the lost but the treasures of the lost are shit anyway as i said i spent 16 quid and got one thing that i wanted out of the three out of the 25 plus items that there are available so there's just not enough new content yes you can get a broomstick as a sparrow which lasts until the end of festival of the lost and then it gets taken away from you you can get four new shaders yay love that game so basically all in all festival of the cost has just been shit I haven't enjoyed it it's basically it's not been the main reason why I've stopped playing destiny I just stopped playing destiny pretty much I have stopped playing PlayStation really I'm just bored of everything at the moment like it's just not uh, fun and entertaining anymore anyway guys if you have enjoyed that video then please press that like button and that subscribe button and go do the same to the rest of the Chicago their names will be in the description down below and I will see you guys next time and good